Hey guys, this is Heather from HealthyEatingStartsHere.com. Okay, I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind a lot lately, and that is the striving for perfection. All right, it gets talked about a lot in healthy eating because of course we're always trying to do better. We're always trying to find the ideal, the optimal diet, and a lot of people get caught up looking for perfect. The first thing I wanna say is that there's really no such thing as perfect. If you look at any topic, there are gonna be aspects that are good and aspects that are bad. I like to think of healthy eating as a healthy, balanced diet. And by balance, I mean a balance of really super nutritious, but also something that makes you happy and feel good about yourself and not feel alienated from other people. I really think that the human system is so complex that there, there really isn't such thing as true perfect. Now there might be something that is ideal for one person and that might be different for someone else. And if something is ideal for me right now, so say in the summer I'm eating lots of raw foods, lots of salads and fruits and fresh veggies and stuff. And um, in the winter, that might not be ideal for me. And that's what's ideal for me right now. I'm 30. When I'm 60 years old, probably not gonna be eating the same diet. So when you think of perfection, just try to remember that maybe there's no such thing as an objective per perfection. Remember that there's a subjective and an individuality to whatever you might see as perfect. And there are different perspectives on perfect. So some people might look at me and say, oh wow, she eats so perfectly. She eats all plant foods, pretty much whole foods, lots of vegetables and lots of fruit. If um, if someone put in front of me an Oreo and a mango, I would honestly choose the mango and it would make me happier. So, um, so some people might see me as perfect because of that, but then other people might see me as very not perfect because, oh, I eat canned beans, I use salt in my cooking, I use unrefined sugars, and sometimes I use unrefined oils. Um, so that might not be perfect for some people. But again, it's perspective. People have a different, people are coming at it from a different angle, from different paths of life and from different journeys, from different needs. So everyone's idea of what perfect is is gonna be slightly different. Okay, so the big issue that I have with striving for perfection is that it can cause a huge amount of stress. And stress itself is unhealthy. So there are lots of people who are striving to be too perfect with their nutrition. And because of that, it's causing them stress that's gonna negate some of the benefits of all the healthy foods that they're eating. All right, now, having said that, it is not a cop-out for those of you who are trying to eat healthy to say, oh, it's causing me too much stress, so I'm not gonna eat this carrot. What I mean is, for people who try to change too quickly, that can cause a lot of stress. For people who put expectations on themselves to be perfect, you know, those expectations that are just too high to achieve, that's gonna cause some stress and um, some disappointment. So this is something that I've noticed in myself, not so much for eating, but more for um, my work-life balance. I really wanna do a lot of things. I wanna help as many people as I can through meal plans, consultations, through these free videos. Um, but when I don't live up to the goals that I've set for myself, those expectations that I've set, um, I feel a little bit disappointed and I don't feel like I've accomplished as much as I should have in a day. Whereas probably my expectations were just too high. Um, there are only so many hours in the day and um, you know, life is too short to always feel disappointed in yourself. So I think it's more important than striving for perfection is striving for happiness, healthiness, trying to do your best of course, not just using the cop out that, you know, oh, I don't want any stress, so I'm just gonna not change. Um, you do want to strive for improvement, but also be compassionate to yourself and realize that you can't do everything, you can't change all at once, so celebrate what you're able to accomplish and then go from there. 
Another issue I have on perfection is when it interferes with your social interactions with people. You can become alienated pretty quickly if you put yourself out there as this perfect, no flawed human being. Um, even if you don't compare yourself to others, they are going to compare themselves to you and they're going to think that if you put out this image of being too perfect, that you are silently judging them. Now again, this can go too far and what I don't want you to do is give in to any kind of peer pressure just because you think it would be easier and less confrontational. I often get sucked into that because I hate confrontation and I hate people thinking that I'm judging them. But there is a place for showing people how healthy you can feel when you do certain things that are good for yourself. And not letting the social norm that's unhealthy be reinforced. All right, this is the last thing I wanna say on perfection. And that is that it kills productivity and results. So this video is a perfect example because I have been sitting here for a really long time trying to make sure my thoughts are coherent and balanced and that people won't take them the wrong way when I say certain things. I realize that this is a topic that can go in a lot of different ways, so I'm striving in this video to be a little bit perfect. Um, they say that 80% of your results come from 20% of your effort. And so if you relate that to healthy eating, you can see it might not be exactly 20% of your efforts, but a lot of what you do is setting a base for your body to be healthy. And if you do that and your body is healthy, then it can handle a certain amount of crap. Your body was designed to deal with toxins. Now, it wasn't designed to deal with certain chemical toxins that we're seeing these days in processed foods, but it will handle a certain amount of that. Okay, so here's the bottom line. I think that we should all strive to be as healthy as we can, but also as happy as we can, because life is too short and there's no point being healthy if you're not gonna enjoy your life. All right, so I know I've talked a lot here because my microphone batteries have died a few times and my camera battery is about to die. So I'm going to stop striving for perfection in this video. And I hope you guys will take something from this and maybe you have some thoughts to share, which I would love to hear in the comments. Again, I think it is important to strive to be healthy and to strive to do better than what the social norm is for eating. But I also think a healthy, balanced diet doesn't have to mean striving for perfection. All right, love to hear your thoughts, guys. And you can read a more perhaps coherent version in the written version on my site, healthyeatingstartshere.com. And you can, of course, find all kinds of other info that I post there. And um, that is it.